Awesome. So where, uh, where are you from? Uh, well, I live in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I grew up in uh, Lake Wiley, South Carolina. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, no, I was just curious. So right now I'm in, in uh, the Boston area right now, so it's a little crazy. How's, how's that? Uh, how's it going with the whole Tom Brady situation? Are oh my God! Don't even get me started. Very disappointed. Very disappointed. I'm a huge Brady fan, uh, which made me a Patriots fan because he came in as like an underdog, you know, and right, yeah. I was myself an underdog, so that's why I've always liked him. Obviously, he's uh, not an underdog anymore, but no, it's, it was. it's crazy. It's crazy because, like, I, I just didn't think it would happen, man. Like, I, I, I thought. Was surprised. Yeah, I was very surprised. That, uh, but that was his decision, right? Like, he wanted to go. Right. Yeah. It sounds like he was just ready to head out. You know. Yeah, I guess time time was ticking for him. And but, what, what team do you root for usually? Are you a Pats fan or? Uh, well, I don't know now because Brady's gone. That was uh, the yeah. reason I was a Patriots fan. Uh, but I'm a Panthers fan first. Okay. Since I'm, you know, from the Carolinas. Right. Yeah. What did you, uh, what do you think of like the whole Cam Newton situation? You guys have had a busy off season too. Yeah. It's been, uh, it's been crazy, man. This would be like all over sports and stuff if it wasn't for COVID-19, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I went to Clemson. So I kind of wanted them to, you know, wait till next year to get a quarterback right? and see if they can get Trevor Lawrence, because that would be incredible to get to cheer for Trevor Lawrence at the, yeah, the Panthers. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're going with Teddy Bridgewater. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think he'll do pretty good. I mean, it was so weird because Allen played pretty good for you guys too this past year, right? He, he did it first, but then all of a sudden he just uh, – like I, I think know. he won the first four games that he played, and it was – you know, it was like, oh, sweet, awesome. Right. And then he just kind of shit the bed, man. He just – He did. He did. It was bad. He, he fumbled the ball so many times. That's how he lost a lot of those games. I got to tell you, though, you had McCaffrey, and McCaffrey was killing it. McCaffrey. Yeah running all over you know I just hope he wants to stick around um I don't know how long what was this his third year I think yeah I think so yeah is it five years and then they get to yeah I, I think they'll keep him I mean there's no way they could afford to lose him I mean they'll have to go he's off. gonna want money though he's gonna want yeah, some money yeah. his time. Well, that's you. what you guys did with Josh Norman too right like you guys gave him up right were yeah. you about that or he wanted a lot of money, I think, and we just didn't want to give it to him. Yeah, which is good. I mean, I'm just, it's – I mean, you don't want to put, like, a uh, – you know, not a good product on the field. And I mean, spend the money. I mean, it's – is there, I don't, is there a cap in football? Yeah, I believe there's, like, a – I'm not even too familiar with it, like, salary cap or something. Some, mm -hmm. There's definitely – there's definitely a, uh, a league – like I don't, I don't know, it's like something along those lines. For yeah, sure. but but owners can spend. Salary, it. Yeah. I mean, the amount of money that players want sometimes they can actually pay. They just don't want to pay it. Right. And then you're and then you're telling people to go to the games and spend all this money on tickets, and then you don't want to, you know, do your end of the deal and like put quality players out there that want to stick around, but you just don't want to pay them. Yeah, no, it's it's ridiculous. And, and I, I think the Panthers, I mean, for the most part, like, I, I miss the old days with Steve Smith. Like, Steve Smith Ooh, yeah. as wide receiver. Yeah, that was sick. But, um, yeah, Panthers, we'll see, man. We'll see. Panthers pass Super Bowl sometime soon. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool – that was uh, that was kind of – and it, I, I mean, I was a Panthers. Obviously, I was pulling for the Panthers all the way, and I was disappointed when we lost. Mm. Um, what did it go into overtime or uh, uh, like, the year against the year against the Broncos? No, no, against the uh, Patriots, Panthers and Patriots. Oh, that I was. I don't even know. I don't even remember. Was that the, was the year. Um, everybody was talking about the wardrobe malfunction. That was like Justin Timberlake 
Right. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Janet Jackson. And that was yeah, why nobody yeah, talked. Yeah. Nobody remembers that Super Bowl when it was the great <laughs> Super Bowl. And they remember that. Yeah. Oh, no. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, it's way back. But, like, I, I totally agree. Like, that was the year they should have. I don't know. That was a great Super Bowl. My dad told me stories about that because he, um, he, he's been a long time fan. He got like season tickets like 25 years back with his college buddies. So we've been super blessed with it, but. Okay. Nice. But yeah, no. Um, I guess we could get started, man. Get to it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, maybe just talk about like, what was uh, what was your childhood like? Were you always into acting? Did you play sports growing up? Some football? Uh, uh, I actually played tennis in high school. Um, I was on the tennis team, uh, like junior high, all the way through uh, high school. I tried out for the basketball team. I was a big Michael Jordan fan. Um, Space Jam. Yeah. Love that movie. And I never made the basketball team. I uh, – I went to the camps, you know, mm-hmm. and one year I was the only guy that got cut from the team. <laughs> uh, hey, you proved them wrong now, man. Maybe go on, <laughs> break some ankles now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't get into, I didn't do any acting until college. Mm. Yeah, I went, uh, I went in as a computer science major at Clemson and switched to an English major. Uh, Decided to go, uh, you know, try something new. Um, Saw a play. I mean, I'd seen plays before, but I saw uh, one of the big plays uh, that semester. I was like, man, that sounds like a lot of fun. So I found out, you know, when to take some acting classes. I signed up for classes the next semester. Uh, Auditioned for uh, the first play, which was the Heidi Chronicles in – didn't uh didn't book that um I use the word book now but you, I, mean, <laughs> I didn't get the role in the show uh but i i wanted to do like tech work you know like so i decided to cuz i wanted to you know see how it was how right yeah no, that i read that yeah that's crazy done yeah um so did some tech crew on it and then the following uh, play I auditioned for, which was like a uh, called Burial at Thebes, and it was a um, a Greek myth- uh, Greek tragedy play turned into like a musical. Mm. Um, so I got that. That was my first time actually being on stage. Um, then after that, I did Henry V, which was in like a black box uh, theater yeah. we had like a, like a campfire setting and did some plays at the uh the community theater like played Willy Wonka yeah so, so yeah that was uh, how was that, that? Was, was college um it was fun yeah I got to have like my weird scientist kind of hair <laughs> uh, I think I still have some pictures on Facebook like back yeah. in the day yeah no that's awesome what was um yeah what like what was you know, you mentioned it a little bit, like, how, how is the life between balancing theater and, like, social life? You know, what, what did you do on your free time? Oh, uh, well, I met a lot of my friends um, through the uh, performing arts department. So, like, you know, a lot of us would still get together on the weekends and go downtown. And Clemson's downtown is very, it's, it's literally like, if you've ever, have you ever been to Clemson before? No, I, I haven't. No, but I have, I have friends that go there, so I can only imagine. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's just like one little strip. I mean, you, it's not even a mile long, and all the bars are like on one side, and all the bars are on the other, and it's just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we would always go there on the weekends and hang out. So we had, you know, there was still social time, you know, after rehearsals or after a show, we would go. Uh, the big bar that a lot of uh, like the performing arts people went to was called Nick's was right next to this pizza joint. Right. And they had a Schlitz beer, <laughs> which was like a dollar a beer. So it was just yeah. amazing. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's a good deal, man. I might be, I might yeah. be, I might be transferring to Clemson sometime soon. <laughs> I don't even know if they do that anymore. I might be aging myself. 
I have no idea they they jacked was, up the price on that. When was the last time you uh, visited? Um, wow, what was it? Uh, it was earlier this year, but it was like briefly. I was, um, I went to go uh, meet up with somebody who wanted to talk about, uh, you know, a possible project down the line, and he was, and he he was a big fan of Ozark, and he was one of the uh, he's one of the um like professors there and he's in the mm-hmm. film industry so we met up over at the esso club um which is another popular spot like it's right across from the uh the campus uh but like actually being on campus man i haven't been back i graduated in 07 i haven't been back since probably then yeah it's been a while yeah no, i just don't have a lot of time to do it yeah, no, I bet. I mean, that's that's another thing. Like, you know, would you guys just get – are you guys still filming for season four of Ozarks, or is that – Um, Well, obviously, because of all the stuff that's going on, everything's right. shut down. Um, We're supposed to start back up uh, in the next, like, four or five months. Mm. Um, not, a, not a specific date, but we're looking at, like, July, August, September, something like that that's that's and, season four yeah okay. um and and jason you know jason bateman uh he had some projects lined up that he was going to direct but ozark is getting first uh um is in uh what do you call it first position mm. um and it wouldn't have worked out he was going to direct a reboot of the movie clue and that wasn't going to work out um so so he's open i think laura lenny i think her schedule is good to go i mean because everybody's i don't think we're gonna start shooting anything until probably like july june july excuse me at the earliest you know so yeah everything is all closed down like are you guys all close by are you guys relatively close to each other are you guys all over the map uh well, when, when they're shooting, uh, Jason and Laura live here, but um, Jason lives in L.A., Laura lives in New York, uh, mm-hmm. Julia Garner, who plays Ruth, lives in New York, um, uh, Jessica, uh, Maya, Maya, Agent Maya, remember yeah. her from season three? Yeah. Uh, she's a good friend of mine now. She lives in New York as well, so, oh. but we, had, I mean, there's some local actors, too, like my girlfriend on the show, she's a local actor. Mm. So, so do you guys, um, when you, when you guys are, uh, no, not in season, do you guys like go to other theaters and perform or, um, or do you guys just take the time to break and just get ready for the next season of Ozark? You know, what, what's everyone up to right now? Is everyone sort of just chilling Uh, getting ready? Yeah, right now. Yeah. But like if, if this wasn't going on, I would say. Um, you know, you'd still audition for TV and film, um, and, you know, try to get something in, you know, the in-between time, uh, Jessica, you know, she does a, she does a lot of stage, um, uh, work in New York. So she was just, she just did like an all female version of Dracula. So that kept her busy after we were done. And then, uh, and then Laura was on Broadway uh, for a one woman show. Um, I think Jason took the time off. Uh, Tom Pelfrey, who plays Ben in season three, he, uh, he went right after we shot season three, he went and did a, uh, I think it's going to be on Netflix about Orson Welles and Citizen Kane. Mm. Like, uh, it's, I think it's it's about Citizen, it's about Orson Welles is, um, or Citizen, the writer of Citizen Kane, mm. it's it's on IMDb somewhere. But uh, right, yeah, yeah, he was working on that. I think it was yeah. a David Fincher project, actually. Um, oh wow! Yeah, you know, yeah, people, uh, you got to find something to do. I mean, like booking things, you want to stay, cons- you know, because um, we're breaking up a little you're bit. You're still sitting and Laura can. What, what was the last thing you heard? Uh, I, I heard uh, you hear 
Laura. We're talking about Laura. Um, oh, uh, yeah, like Jason and Laura and Julia, you know, they can afford to take some time off. Uh, I mean, even though they probably don't, they probably like, I mean, obviously they love the work, uh, but definitely I'm always trying to get the next gig. Uh, you know, cause I do Uber as a side hustle. Mm. Um, obviously not right now. So. Right. Yeah. I was going to say it's tough. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that's always, uh, that's been some good money when that was, uh, when I was doing that. Um, and I've been doing that for like a little over a year. Mm. It's funny cause people get in the car and they recognize me sometimes. I was They're just like, going to say that. I, you look really, yeah. you look really familiar. <laughs> you know, you get that kind of reaction. It's like, did you work at this restaurant I used to go to or <laughs> so what's that yeah. conversation like you guys like right away it's like yo you're Sam from Ozark like this is awesome but yeah they, they're pretty uh they're pretty excited when they find out it's it's that's just so funny. funny yeah that's hilarious uh so uh you know you've been in some other films as well we'll go back to Ozark um but you were also an American made right with uh I uh well I shot it um I didn't make the cut uh yeah but, but you're I, still part of it yeah yeah I, I got to work with Tom Cruise for a day um and uh I played a uh, IRS agent and I was auditing him mm. did you ever did you see the movie I I didn't know I just I just actually learned about it today and I was like oh that's pretty cool um yeah it's it's a good movie um I definitely but my I scene like I have done, yeah. but... huh I feel like I have, but I, it's probably just lost my memory. You may have. Yeah. Uh, it's a good movie if you haven't. Um, and uh, yeah, I had a cool scene with him where I kind of, I come up to his hotel room and uh, and I, you know, I try to audit him. Um, mm -hmm. And it turned it like, if you watch the movie, it's a montage of different hotels that he goes to. So you never actually see the scene. Mm. Yeah. But, but somehow I get residuals from it. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. I, I have no clue. And I'm in the credits. Yeah. But I did the movie Prisoners with Hugh Jackman back in the day. Mm. And I've got a scene at the end of the movie and I'm uncredited. Oh, it's yeah. weird. Yeah, no, that is weird. What 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 was it like um filming with Tom Cruise? Is he a nice guy? What's he like on set? Yeah, he was nice. Um he was very uh you know, he was like a ready to work kind of thing. Um I didn't get to really like chat with him or anything, but he was, he was, uh, he was cordial and uh, it was good to act opposite him. It, I got to, you know, it makes you bring your a game. Like, you know, it's right. like a sport. It's uh you get kind of jacked up and ready to ready to go out on the field, so to speak. And, yeah. and, and, you know, throw, throw touchdowns. Yeah. Three oh. pointers. At yeah, the buzzer, yeah. <laughs> all those analogies. Oh, I, I get that. Uh, you mentioned like Hugh Jackman too. Was he pretty cool? Was he a nice on set? Did oh him? yeah, he was really really nice. I didn't get to work with him on in the movie itself, but he was on set my last day there, and uh, he was running to a uh, um, to the trailer, and I was just about to leave, and I was like, man, I got to get Wolverines picture I, I, right, yeah. I don't like to do that kind of stuff but I had to I was like I was like Hugh man I, is it any way I can get a picture with you before you leave he's like oh yeah man sure um so That's super nice guy very nice guy what was um wait so was he in the Wolverine get up to in the picture or oh no no uh, no 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 no, <laughs> <laughs> no did, have you seen the movie Prisoners no 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 I haven't uh sorry it's I a thought, good movie what's it's that a good movie yeah, it's uh, it's it's about a um, Hugh Jackman's son uh, gets kidnapped and he's trying to find his son. It's a dark, it's a dark movie. Uh, the same director that did uh, he's a big director now. He did um, uh, the new Blade Runner. It was a couple years ago. Oh, yeah, 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 great movie. Yeah. Villanueva. Yeah. Um, and he's doing like the new Dune, I mm. think it's coming out. So he directed that. He also did a, oh man, what was that movie? Uh, with Benicio del Toro. Um, Let's see. 
He played like a hitman. Uh, Sicario. Sicar. Oh yeah. 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 No, yeah. that's a great movie. He's a great director. That's yeah. Yeah. No, that's an. I've seen that one. That one's great. I would like. Yeah, check out Prisoners, man. You might like it. It's. Uh, I know. It's, I will. It's dark. It's. It's good. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm already like. I'm more hyped up for Ozark season. <laughs> But hey, if we got time, I'm I'm ready for prisoners. But um, yeah, no, it's cool to get some uh other background um, you know, from your story as well. So uh, yeah, if, like Ozarks, man, where were you when you first received the news uh that you were gonna be playing Sam in the series? Um, what were oh uh, so my manager at the time. I asked her, I was like, hey, have you heard back from casting about, you know, uh, that role on that new show? And she was like, yeah, but they said they're going to go with somebody older. I was like, okay. That's because I, you know, I I was so used to know you got to be in this business. Mm -hmm. And I was driving back to Charlotte um, for a short film audition. And my agent called me and he said, yeah, they want to book you for Ozark. And I was like, what? I, I, was, I thought they were going to go with somebody older. And he goes, well, I don't know what to tell you, man. They want to book you. So, <laughs> And it's been a wild ride ever since. Yeah, no, that's awesome. So how did you first hear about Ozark? Like, how did you, you know, how did you hear about, like, the auditions? I mean, it was, I'm assuming it was pretty small at the time. Now it's a huge thing. But how did you yeah. hear about it? Um, so – they do a lot of taped auditions now, especially the first round. And yeah, my agent, you know, sent me the audition. I taped it. I saw who was, I only knew that Jason Bateman was uh, in it. Nobody else, they, had, they hadn't said Laura Linney or anybody else had been cast yet. Um, and I heard a lot of people that auditioned, they, uh, for, the, for the role, they thought it was like a comedy because it had Jason Bateman and I, right. but it it's obviously not a comedy right. um so i saw i saw the breakdown of the role and it said real estate agent in, in the ozarks affable uh little little uh, eccentric right. and loves his dog that was that was what was in the breakdown <laughs> um and i was like all right and my my audition uh, was the first, the first two scenes in episode two, where my first episode is, you know, where she comes into the real estate office and sees me uh, leaning back with, in my chair and you think something's going on. That right. was, that was one of the audition uh, scenes. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. <laughs> it's hilarious. I mean, it's just crazy, man. Cause like, this is, this has been me and my family's favorite show. And I was like, no, I, oh, that's nice. I, I can like reach that. out to some of the cast of Ozark, and I was like, "Let's get it, Sam!" Like, I'm hyped. Like, let's. I love it, man. It, awesome. It's a bigger. Like, I think it gets bigger each season. Um, like after season one, I had some really good scenes in season one, and uh, but I don't think it was quite big enough to change like the opportunities for me yet. Mm, uh, right. Yeah. Whereas now, I think three seasons deep into the show, I should start seeing some good opportunities. Um, once we get, you know, once everything gets back up and running again, I, I feel good about where my career is going. Yeah. No, absolutely, man. I mean, the show is killing it right now. Top show on Netflix for sure. Um, Other than Tiger King. Yeah. Hey, I, I think Oz Ozark's right there with it. I mean, for there you sure. go. You, it's you number guys, one on. Uh, I was looking on IMDb today, and it's now number one on the TV shows. Tiger King is number two. There you go. Makes sense, man. I'm not surprised at all. Um, so you talked about, you know, like you talked about like working with Jason, um, because Jason's like a director. He's a producer. He's an actor. What's he? What's he like on set? Oh, he's great, man. He's uh, really down to earth um uh kind of a dry sense of humor just like you see him on yeah. arrested development or any other shows because he loves playing that every kind of man mm -hmm. um and then him as a director 
he knows his stuff. Uh, he's he's got a plan, you know, ready to go when he gets on set directing. But he also lets you play within the box. Mm. Um, so yeah, he's he's an awesome director. Love working with him on camera. Love working with him off camera. Yeah. yeah. How long does it take to like film an episode usually? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks an episode, and then sometimes they cross board episodes. Like, um, the last uh, season, uh, the last four episodes were cross boarded. Mm. So, you'll have different directors come in and out. Um, because Jason can't direct all. The, he he would love to direct all the episodes. He said that, but it's it's too. It's way too time consuming. Um, right. So, like season one, he directed the first two episodes and the last two. I think season two, he directed the first two episodes. And then season three, he directed the first two episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just like so much work, right? Like on set, is he able to, are you guys able to relax with that or is he just always like moving? um yeah he uh yeah we chat sometimes uh yeah he's a nice guy he's uh but yeah he's he's busy too yeah he's right he's got, yeah. he has a production company he directs he acts he's got yeah. kids like you know he's he's busy yeah yeah no i bet um so like what's the typical day like when you guys film like are you guys there early in the morning till late at night usually or um it uh it depends on um what we're shooting like if we're shooting a lot of interior stuff uh at the studio um if we're shooting it, like if they're shooting something on location on the same day that they're shooting stuff in studio it just it just depends like all the casino stuff mm. they built the casino at the studio so you don't have to worry about, you know, light or anything like that. Um, right. Yeah. It just depends on where they're shooting and what they're shooting. Yeah. So like, are there a lot of people a part of that? Like in terms of building, um, like the casino, like the, uh, like just the studio work, like behind the scenes stuff. Is there a lot of ton more people involved that, that the audience doesn't see or. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like before we shoot a scene, you know, you got hair and makeup coming up to you and fixing your hair and you got sound check, uh, um, gaffers, like it's, it's the works. Yeah. It makes it, uh, it makes it interesting, uh, when you have to get to a certain place, uh, uh, you know, internally for maybe a scene. Um, but you just have to, it's just part of the, it's, it's, it's just part of the uh, part of the business, man. So you just gotta. I haven't really had to do anything emotional yet. Maybe season one where I yelled at my mom, and that was pretty. <laughs> that was an emotional scene. Yeah. Uh, so I'm hoping I get to do some stuff like that in season four. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a everybody. It's a family, man. Yeah, we all work together to put together a. Uh, awesome product for everybody yeah no no i mean you guys have been killing it um you know what what's it i mean just going off of that like what's the difference on camera versus off camera like do you guys hang out on the free time you know is it hard for you guys to make that switch of on camera off camera off camera you mean like during the day like shooting yeah during the day shooting yeah oh uh well if we're not ha if like if our scene's not coming up you know uh we have a trailer that we, uh, that we hang out in. Um, and then when we actually are working on the scene and they're, you know, switching cameras and angles and fixing the lighting, you know, we have our little chairs that we sit in and, you know, it just depends. Like, uh, sometimes we'll just chat with each other or sometimes we'll just like sit and chill. Mm -hmm. it, I guess it just depends. Yeah, no, I feel that. Um, I guess like, you know, who, is there a jokester on set? Is there someone that makes the jokes, like, gets people laughing? What's... 
Um, hmm. Ah, I mean, I guess I would say Jason. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's not like pranks like George Clooney. I've heard he does some crazy things mm -hmm. uh, on set. Nothing like that. But uh, oh, we did have. Um, remember the guy who played? Uh, um, oh, jeez, I always forget the character's name. Uh, one of the Langmores. He died in season one. He uh, Wyatt's yeah. dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he came. Yeah. He came back in season three. Because he was in town shooting The Outsider. He had a big role in The Outsider that Jason was directing. Is this the redhead? Like the, the beard? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, uh, he surprised everybody. Well, I think everybody knew except Jason. And, uh, you know, the steps in the casino, like you come, that they come down? Yeah. He came down the steps when they were shooting a scene and surprised Jason. Because oh, Jason goodness. didn't know he was in town yet, I guess. What, what was his uh, reaction? <laughs> he just laughed. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's hilarious. Because, um, yeah, because what are they going to do with Helen now? Are they, Ooh. She... Uh, I didn't know if we were allowed to talk. I didn't oh, know yeah, talking. no, it's, it's, uh, you put, on, you, you put like spoiler alert or stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have okay. to, yeah. Uh, uh, we um, can, we're going to just talk about it, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm excited about this, so I, I have to. <laughs> but uh, I was, I knew, I found that out um, from a from another cast member, but I had completely forgotten. So mm -hmm. I was surprised when I when I saw it happen, and I don't like to read the scripts, uh, the scenes that don't relate to Sam. I I don't like to read. That way, I'm just as surprised when I watch the show when things happen. Um, but yeah, man, I, I think I think Marty and Wendy are, are as they say, they're all in, and uh, they they realize that to get out of it, they got to be they got to bury into it, kind of deal, um, and make Navarro trust them if they ever want to get out of this business, because I think they want to get out. Marty wants to get out. Yeah. Wendy. Yeah. Wendy may be uh yeah, Wendy was putting her chips in for a second there. But now, yeah. now she's like hesitant, right? She was like, she was kind of like, oh, you know, Marty, you may be right, man. I don't know. Right? Yeah. Wendy's uh Wendy's kind of breaking bad, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's... So she's more she's more of the uh of the Walter White than people thought she was gonna be. Yeah, I know, man. It's she's she's tough she's i'm not messing with wendy man I'm, I'm <laughs> what do you think uh what do you think is going to happen with sam what's your opinion what do i think will happen with sam yeah uh well let's see he got last time i checked he got arrested right in the casino mm -hmm. and then marty was talking to uh jessica right yeah, Maya, uh huh. About trying to get her, about trying to get you out, right? Because he was like, listen, this has nothing to do with Sam. Like, you're kind of breaking our trust here. If we're going to be partners, like, you got to let go of my friend Sam. Like, that's not cool. Because he, he uh -huh. wanted to, like, launder the money. Like, you're, you were, you, you were innocent through it, man, right? Like, you didn't want any part of it. And then you're like, all right, I'll help, I'll help out Marty and Wendy. It was really Wendy that kind of, that kind of screwed you over, you know, she was kind of like, you got to do this. We own you. Like, yeah, you guys wondered all the money. Uh, and you know, the agents like scheming, she's kind of like, all right, we got to keep an eye on Sam here. You know, let's see what's up. Um, you, you are about to get married, right? You were about to get an engagement. Proposed with my mom's ashes turned into a ring. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so I think at this point, if I had to predict, if Ruth is leaving the casino, mm -hmm. if she's sort of going on the other side and, you know, because of the whole Ben thing, she lost the trust. I could see Sam stepping up to the plate, assuming he gets released and running the casino, being a, a partner with, uh, with Wendy and Marty. 
you think he you think he would want to work with him again like after after being like uh because because remember marty used him as bait to to keep uh maya around because she was about to leave and and that's why he told me to go gamble again to just so she would stick around and have a reason to be there so he kind of used me as bait i don't know if you have a choice though man like (laughs) They kind of <laughs> I'm all in, yeah. You're kind of in a tough position because, like, what, I mean, they kind of run that town. So it's like, if you say no, you know, your 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 mom got in the bad side of things. And, you know, you don't want to be on that. You don't want to be on that side. I mean, yeah, I'd be on the chopping too. block. Yeah, you're never you're never safe in the Ozarks. Yeah, no, you're not. Nobody's safe. So I could see, assuming, because I was talking about this the other day, like, I think if Ruth, here's my theory, I think Ruth is unhappy because Marty and Wendy sort of betrayed her when she was in the hospital, because mm-hmm. they she wanted uh, to kill, uh, what's his name? She wanted to kill the guy in the mob. Frank Cosgrove Jr., yeah. Right, yeah, and Marty and Wendy refused to. So she was mm-hmm. hurt by that because she was like, well, you would do it uh, for Charlotte. And they're like, oh, come on. But now with the whole Ben situation, when she finds out that Wendy killed Ben, she was. Isn't that interesting? She wouldn't, she wouldn't kill like this random mob guy. But, right. she, but, she, wanted, but she was okay with Ben. But also Ben was putting their whole family in danger. Uh, you know, indirect, like he didn't, he wasn't trying to, that's what's sad about it. Mm. He was trying to do the right thing, um, which is why he's getting so many accolades for this performance. He's just been amazing. He's amazing in it. Mm. And, you know, putting uh, mental illness, bipolar, you know, to the forefront and seeing it on, on screen. Mm. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, no, he, he did a great job for sure. Um, but like in terms of like Ruth's perspective of things, like she really liked Ben, you know, she, that was someone that loved her, you know, she kind of had a rough childhood. That was someone she could really trust. And then, mm-hmm. and then he's gone and, you know, for Wendy to sort of betray her again like that, she didn't seem too happy. So I could see her reuniting with Wyatt and Darlene Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. That's and, my opinion. I think she's gonna because Darlene's already kind of um she's already put that olive branch out there, you know, and said, Hey, come work for me, you know, come help yeah. me out, Wyatt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're growing because yeah, she's trying to get the business up and going again. But poor Jacob, man. Jacob got what well, <laughs> Jacob got the uh <laughs> the shaft, man. That's that's tough. Can't mess with Darlene, even if you're married to her. Yeah, she was, he was gonna try to take down the. He was he was uh, in her opinion, he was ruining what they had created mm. by uh, by giving in to Marty and Wendy's demands, and and yeah. she would have none of that. So, so you don't know what's in store for you for season four. Has there been any discussions for? Uh... Not yet. Uh, we're going to talk soon. Um, but I, like, I have no clue yet what I'm going to be doing. Uh, mm. But I should know in the next month or so. It's like, I, I didn't know if we were going to get a little leak here. What's, what's Sam up to next? Is he running the casino? <laughs> is he taking charge uh, of those arcs or what? <laughs> no, I got no clue, man. Um, yeah. The writers are awesome, though. They, they're they're going to come up with some good stuff. Uh I saw a funny fan theory uh, online that said <laughs> um, that Wendy's sister, I don't remember there being, were they, did they ever talk about a sister? Wendy's sister? I don't remember that. Yeah, like somebody put online that that Wendy's sister was going to come to town and and hook up with Sam and it was going to end badly or something <laughs> like that. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> That's so. so I, random, though. I sent that to one of the writers, and and they were like, "Ha ha ha ha." Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. 
I mean, the brother was sort of unexpected. Like, I didn't think that was going to come. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. So you mentioned, um, what, what's, uh, what's like, what's Julia like on set? Like the Ruth, Ruth Langmore, what, what's she like? Oh, she's awesome, man. She's a, she's a sweetheart. Nothing like her character. Uh, just shows how phenomenal she is. Like in between takes, you know, just smiling and chatting. And then, you know, all of a sudden, like when we're doing our scenes, <laughs> fucking smile, you know, <laughs> like, uh, Marley? That's ass. <laughs> yeah. She's phenomenal. Marty? She's from New York. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, you know, yeah, she's great. I mean, all you guys are great, man. I mean, it's such an awesome show. Um, and, you know, it's a pleasure having you on here. It's pretty cool that I'm t- talking to them, talking to you, man, about Ozarks. I mean, it's a pleasure. So, um, sure. you know, are the Ozark locals impacted at all? Like, I just was curious, like, how show impacted that community? Um, well, uh, well, we shoot in Atlanta. Uh, so oh, okay. It actually doesn't shoot in Missouri. Um, like, you know, the Blue Cat Lodge? Mm-hmm. That was in season one and two. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're I think they're done with the blue cat, so because mm-hmm. obviously that wasn't in season three. Um, but that's an actual place in uh, uh, North Georgia in Woodstock. Um, and then Lickety Splits is the actual name of a strip club. Um, I don't think it's there anymore, but the building is there. So like when we sh- when we shot things exterior of the building uh that was on location um but yeah i mean general like the film business in general has definitely helped uh the economy in in georgia for sure mm. yeah lots of lots of people coming here to film now so yeah right why is that is that just is there a reason why you guys didn't uh didn't choose like film in the Ozarks in general or? Oh, uh, well, Georgia has a great tax incentive. Mm. So that's why a lot of things film here. Yeah. And then you got the, uh, you know, you're on the coast. So you got, you got the mountains, you got the lakes, you got the rivers, you got the beaches, you got the, you got any kind of location that you need for, you know, any types of projects. Mm. Yeah, no, that's awesome, man. Uh, I don't want to keep you too much longer. So, uh, that's cool. but have, I mean, what's the time constraint looking like for you? Do you? Um, somebody was blowing up my phone just now, but uh, you know, just dude, I'm in quarantine hell. So you know, I'm just kind of chilling. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No. Um, I just didn't want to keep you here all day, you know, because I could go all day with this thing. But uh, <laughs> I'll, limit it. I'll limit it, you know. Um, it was fun though, man. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, so in terms of, uh, let's see, I asked about, uh, there was one more I was trying to find. Uh, maybe like one thing that you guys do as a team on your free time, you know, all, what does all the cast members do? Do you guys get pizza? Do you guys get, um, well, we never got, we were going to do like a poker night. Uh, Jessica was going to like, you know, make some food and we we're going to play poker, but it didn't work out because uh, Tom had to, he was, he had to go back. Um, I think uh, on the weekend once when we were going to do it and mm-hmm. other things popped up. So, I mean, it's tough to get together. I mean, we have our rap parties and we have our mid-season rap parties. Um, so those are the times where a lot of us get together and hang out. Yeah, no, it's awesome. And then maybe, I guess, to to wrap it up, um, you know, what, what's your favorite scene that you shot with Ozark so far? Ooh, uh, man, it's, they're all good. Um, I really like the scene in season one where I come and – confront uh wendy and marty about getting my money back that's a really good scene for me yeah uh because i'm going up against two powerhouses and i'm holding my own right um that was an awesome scene 
Thank you. Uh, and then uh, I loved shooting the last scene that I did in season three where I proposed. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. That's a good memorable scene that a lot of people are going to remember, which is great. Yeah. No, I I remember you were standing your ground against Marty and Wendy, like I want my money back. I want yeah. it back now, like yeah, just give me my fucking money. Yeah. No, literally, man. No one's no one's messing with Sam, right? <laughs> But yeah. It's like a ticking time bomb, I think. I think it's just it's a matter of time. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I think I think Sam could have a big role here in the casino too. I mean, I could see him taking charge from your lips to God's ears, man. I'm hoping. I, I'm. <laughs> I got a good feeling they got some good stuff planned for me. Uh, I just haven't heard yet. Yeah. Do you do you guys still talk to? Uh, so is Helen not going to stop by set once in a while to say hi or? Oh, I'm sure she's going to be busy uh, working on other projects. She's a pretty big time actor. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And since she'll probably be in New York, uh, she just um, started Well, I don't think they even started shooting yet because of everything, but there's a, uh, a mini series that's going to be on, I think Showtime calls, called The President is Missing. And she's playing uh, like the vice president. Mm -hmm based on a Bill Clinton uh, novel or Bill Clinton, James Patterson novel, I think. Right. Yeah. yeah. So she, it's tough uh, for people to come by and, right. unless she's working like, you know, unless they're in town shooting something like Mark was with the outsider, which was uh, the reason he was able to come by set. Right. Yeah. I, I just didn't know. And, and she was, she was nice on set. What was, cause I just see her in the, on TV. I could see her as this really tough, like I never, I never met her. I we oh, never got to work together. Really? And, um, we never had the uh, uh, the premiere because of everything. So, yeah, really? never got to meet her. You guys Hopefully I'll get to meet her. Uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna get nominated for some SAG awards next year. Absolutely. And and I was in like six episodes and you have to be in more than five episodes or more than 50% of the episodes to be part of the ensemble, mm. um, in the, in the, uh, in the voting. Mm. So this time around, I will be part of the ensemble, uh, mm. which means if we get nominated, I'll get to go to the SAG awards next year. That's Cause awesome. I was disappointed that I didn't get to go last year and everybody was like, you, yeah, why aren't you going? I was like, I was only in four episodes in season two. No, you'll, dude, was I'm it? telling you, man, you guys are killing it. I, I think, I think Sam's going to be running that casino or, or even if he doesn't, I, I think, he, you know, he's killing it, man. He's killing it on Ozark. So huge. Thank you, man. I hope, uh, I hope they got some, um, some good stuff planned next season for me. I think, I think they will. Yeah, no, I, I, like I said, man, I mean, you've done a great job. Um, it's an awesome dynamic to the show too. Um, you know, my whole, my whole family loves it. And then, you know, we're, we're always wondering about Sam too. We're like, Oh, poor Sam. Like we were like, we were like, Oh, he, he didn't do anything. And now he's like the first one that gets arrested. Like we right, were, yeah. my whole family, like when we were watching it at the same time, we we're like, Oh, poor Sam. Like literally like you're, you're at the table, you're putting all your chips in and we're like, ah, oh, come on, not not Sam, not not him. Why is he arrested? Why is he? Oh. he I think he's gonna get his. Uh, I think he's gonna. He's a ticking time bomb. I think something's gonna happen. I, I think something good's got gotta happen to Sam. I think I think he deserves deserves something. I think that's what they want the audience to think, but I think something's on the uprise for him, and he's gonna hey, be man. he's gonna be running that. So. <laughs> But hey, listen, uh, listen, Kevin. I appreciate it, man. Uh, thanks for uh, taking the time. Uh, stay Absolutely, man. Um, best of luck with Ozark as well. Thank um, you. You guys are gonna kill it. Seriously, uh, it's a great show. My favorite show right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, only the best of luck, and uh, hope to stay in touch, man. Appreciate Thank it, you, man. Um, and you guys uh, stay safe and healthy. Okay. Yeah, we will. Go Panthers. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kills me to say that, but with Brady gone, man, it's it's tough. <laughs> you might have to, you might have to get Brady on the show. I don't know. <laughs>
of the casino and it, with the buffs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, Kevin. Absolutely, my man. Have a good one. Have a good one. Thanks. You too.